We are for sure family. Hi everybody, welcome back to Maddie Kitchen. I'm gone for a while, but I'm back here in North Carolina at my daughter's house. She's been on the weather a little bit, but she's feeling a lot better. Uh, today I'll be making, I'm coming from the For Sure family, but today I'll be making homemade barbecue sauce. My ingredients are, I'm gonna use vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, water, ketchup, liquid smoke, a little honey probably, tomato paste, chili powder, and cayenne pepper. Now my fresh ingredients are, I'm using some uh, red onions, I'm using white onion, some fresh garlic, some celery, a little lemon, and some red pepper, hot pepper. And brown sugar, okay. When making barbecue sauce, you're gonna need vinegar, you're gonna need the Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, and mustard. This is just to make plain barbecue sauce. All these other things is just to make it taste good, but if you just had the mustard, the ketchup, the Worcestershire sauce, and the vinegar and mustard, it will make barbecue sauce. So when you're making a barbecue sauce, it doesn't matter how you put all of these ingredients you see, it's going in my barbecue sauce. So it doesn't matter how I start, but I'm gonna start with the most simple, the ketchup. Put some ketchup in here. I'm making enough for about 10 people. About 10 people. Okay, that's my ketchup. I'm gonna put a little vinegar. Because this is you don't have these other things, as long as you got some vinegar, ketchup, and put just a little in there. You're gonna have more ketchup than anything. Okay, I'm gonna take and put some Worcestershire sauce in here. Okay. Put some mustard. Some chili powder. Put that in here. And you know you're doing it just you're gonna add it because you're gonna taste this too. See how it tastes. But I'm gonna put some. I might just put a little pepper in here because I got fresh peppers. I might put just a little bit because I don't want it too hot. Put just a little bit in here because I like stuff. So I'm gonna put a that. I'm gonna put the tomato paste. Little honey with the uh, I'm gonna put the brown sugar, it doesn't matter, you don't have to measure it. I don't, you know, I told you I don't measure because I know about what to go in there. But if you kind of follow my, you know, when you're doing yours, you're making yours, kind of look at what I'm doing. So, sugar because the sugar will make it taste. You know, when you have barbecue sauce, some people have honey, uh, brown sugar barbecue sauce, some people have just honey barbecue sauce, some people just have you know, it's different types. So, I'm putting honey and uh brown sugar in mine, and some peppers. Red peppers, red hot peppers. So I'm gonna put a little, uh, this is red onion, put a little red onions in here. It don't matter because it's gonna cook away, you know, you're gonna let it cook for a while and it'll cook away. It just make it taste good. I'm gonna put some white onions, a little white onion in here. Just a little bit. Cause I'm making, I'm making enough for 10 servings. Add a little celery. And it's gonna be good, y'all, yeah, because I'm gonna cook away and fresh garlic. And that's it. I'm gonna put some water. I gotta put some water in here. Put 
put a little liquid smoke, just to give it that little, you know, that smokery taste, when it's smokery. So just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up good. Let me set. I want to see how thick it is. This is gonna cook for about 45 minutes. So all these, uh, the peppers and the onions and stuff until it cook away. Stir it up real good till I mix it good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste this a little bit. Get my spoon to taste and see how it tastes and see what I need to put in here. Let's see. Tastes like barbecue sauce. Let it cook some. Put it on the stove. I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna add a little bit more water because it's kind of thick. But I taste it tastes like barbecue sauce because that's how you make it, you know. Let it cook for about 45 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna give it a boil. I'm gonna cook it hot so I can get a boil and then I'm gonna cut it down and let it simmer. So, and while it's cooking, I was just gonna mix some barbecue sauce, but it wouldn't be barbecue sauce and this and that. Some, uh, some baked chicken, some barbecue chicken. So, I'm gonna put a couple of, while it's cooking, I'm gonna put a, put a couple pieces of chicken in there and I'm gonna show you how it look with the chicken on the, the barbecue sauce on the chicken. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna put some lemon in here, fresh lemon. I'm just gonna throw it in and let it uh, boil and let it give it a good taste. Let it boil with it. Okay, now I'm getting ready to do my chicken. <laughs> now, you know, remember, if y'all looked at any of my videos, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to spray my pan when I did that baked uh, rainbow trout and my baked salmon. It stuck a little bit, but it was still good. So this time, I'm going to spray my pan. <laughs> Chicken in here. No, I'm gonna season it a little bit, but the reason I'm just gonna put some salt, pepper, and butter on it because I want the barbecue sauce. To, that's what I want you to taste is good barbecue sauce, and so I'm not gonna put too much season on this chicken. Okay, I'm gonna put a little salt on here. Just a little salt on here. Not too much. Pepper. When you season meat, you always should match, you know, press the season in the meat so it can go in the meat. Just press it in there. Then you turn it on the other side and do the same thing to the other side. Just Press it in so the season can go in. So I'm gonna lay it in here. Lay it. Okay. I'm gonna rub a little butter on it. Barbecue sauce is beginning to boil. So I'm gonna cut it down real low and let it simmer. Stir it up good and let it just simmer. Cook. Put the top back on it. Let this cook for about, not for a good, by the time the barbecue sauce cooked, this should be done. Stove is already hot. Chicken looking good. I'm gonna turn it over a little bit so I can finish cooking. 
The barbecue sauce is doing pretty good too. Put it back in the oven. The barbecue sauce, looking good. So you don't see none of the vegetables, they're gone. Just a little bit. There'll be some good barbecue sauce. The chicken is done, and the barbecue sauce been cooking about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna take in, this is how I do mine, I'm gonna take this and dump it, I'll take the chicken and put it in here, so I fall off the bone, put it in here. We'll let it brown a little bit in the stove. Spread a little bit on it. Okay, I'm gonna put the oven on broil and let it bake for about five minutes so it can get hot so the barbecue sauce can kind of you know get a little brown on it how about you good looking good y'all Okay, the chicken is ready. I'm gonna take it out. Looks so good. I don't wanna. Fit for a king. Okay, you all, there it is, homemade barbecue sauce. And thank you very much for tuning in. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the For Sure Family channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya.